Welcome to another new Heights bonus video. 92% yeah! this one's presented by Wave Sports and Entertainment. How about that? It's time for the weekend preview. This week we're uh, going to do a conference championship preview. That's right, Championship Sunday. It's here, everybody. Uh, reveal all the poll results from the first round of voting for our best NFL team name bracket and talk about our favorite second round matchups. All righty. Let's start with the conference championship look ahead. That's right. We got Chiefs at Ravens in the AFC, in the AFC championship game. hey -o. First AFC championship game in Baltimore since 1971, which is wild because they won two Super Bowls, which you know usually the favorite team wins those, but not this time. And for the first time in franchise history, that's right, the Ravens will host an AFC championship game. Yeah, the, yeah, 1971, they were the Baltimore Colts. So the yeah. Ravens have never hosted a uh, AFC championship game. All righty. This is the first time that the AFC championship game won't be played in Arrowhead since 2017. Sounds like a decade ago. Man, you guys have had a hell of a run, Trav. The Kansas City Don't Chiefs. Don't say had. Don't say had. We still, we still have. running. Have. That's a had. We're still running. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Fast as fuck, boy. Johnny Unitas was the quarterback. Hey, -o. I'm just reading to read now. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Thoughts on playing in Baltimore? What do you think? You're two and one in your career against Baltimore. Yeah. You last played the Ravens on the road in 2021. Baltimore won that one, thirty six, thirty five. I mean, that was a that was all that was an all time bang. One of my favorite games I've played in. Uh, Lamar was playing fucking lights out. They went for it on fourth fourth down when Harbaugh asked him if he wanted to go for it to seal the game yeah. instead of giving Patty Mahomes a chance to win it, and uh, they got it, man. Um, I think I remember that, that place that game. was rocking, man. They came out. I think Ray Lewis started it off uh, coming out of the tunnel doing his uh, his legendary entrance. Wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pull that trick twice, but it's uh you already know, man. I, I got a lot of respect for that team, that organization, even though they they, they stole it from Cleveland. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of great coaches, a lot of great people uh, over there, and I think uh, they got a they got a great story and how they've uh, how they've kind of had up and down years, and this year they're uh, they're the number one seed for a reason, man. They played the best football. Uh, weeks one through 17 and right now they are playing their best football and it's gonna be a big challenge man big challenge but damn does that get you fucking excited man no doubt i haven't found something outside of football that's going to challenge me like playoff football and i don't know if i'll ever find that and that's one of the things that'll make me play this game until the wheels fall off man is because i know that uh i get to accept these challenges and the this you know, these difficult games, these difficult matchups, the question of whether or not we'll prevail and coming up uh, big for the guys next to me. It's an energy and an excitement that I haven't found any anywhere else in the world. And um, it's something that I definitely cherish, man. And uh, just excited to go out there and unleash everything we got uh, against the Baltimore Ravens. No doubt. What? Um, how does the team prepare for Lamar Jackson? Obviously, very different quarterback. Who's running the scout team? You guys using an actual quarterback, or are you using a little bit of both? A quarterback plus maybe a receiver to do some of the run things that the Baltimore uh, Ravens can throw at you? Yeah, I think uh, I think just like any offense, you you try and you know minimize what they do great, um, and that is run the football and uh, control the line of scrimmage. So I think it's a huge challenge for our defense to stop the run game, uh, knowing how many good running backs they got. Obviously, their quarterback being – being one of them with the uh, ball in his hand. And um, on top of that, their offensive line is just a bunch of studs. Yeah. They got skill position guys all over the place, and Lamar's been throwing the ball uh, outstanding all year, proving those naysayers wrong that he couldn't be a quarterback in the National Football League. Yeah. So it's uh, the best way to beat Lamar Jackson, though, is put up more points than him. And uh, it's going <laughs> to be a big challenge for us to put up touchdowns instead of, uh, instead of field goals this week. Um, no we're doubt. Need him, need him a lot. Yeah, I mean, as you just said, the Ravens' defense is the number one scoring defense in the league per Fox Sports. Um, defensive coordinator Mike McDonald uh, has taken over the uh, last couple of years. Uh, this Sunday will be the seventh time Pat Mahomes has faced off against the league's top scoring defense in his career. The Chiefs have won all six of those previous matchups. How do you prepare for the Ravens' defense and those linebackers in particular? Try and minimize turnovers. Yeah. Try not to hurt yourself. I think uh, Houston got into a pretty tough spot last week. I think they had like close to 10 procedural penalties. I know they had at least four or five false starts, maybe a delay game there. Going into a hostile environment like that is those are the things you, you, you know, you got to deal with on the road is being able to 
get off the ball at the right time, being able to be on the same page as everybody around you, knowing that it's a little bit louder. There's a little bit feels like there's a little bit more at stake um, when you're on the road. It's just uh, it's something that you got to lock in during the week and make sure you're just you're so precise on your motions, on the snap count, on getting up and getting lined up, getting out of the huddle, getting lined up, understanding what you're doing. Mike McDonald is one of the best D coordinators in the game. Um, and uh, those guys are rallying. They're, they're a physical bunch. Uh, it's going to be a big challenge for us, man. If it was as easy as just minimizing their great linebackers, it might be easy. But the problem is they're good all over the place. Yeah. Their front's great. Their linebackers are great. Their defensive backs are great. Uh, there's a reason this defense is so good. So, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. No question about it. Moving on. Uh, should we put on our analyst hat and talk about the NFC Championship game as well? I mean, it's the only other game in town. Might as well give our two cents on it. Or yeah, I don't give care. It Fuck it. Lions 49ers NFC <laughs> Championship game. Biggest news of the game, Zach Ertz. <laughs> Zach Ertz. Familiar face. That's the biggest news. <laughs> Fan favorite of both of us. <laughs> Obviously, a, a teammate of Jason's when he won the Super Bowl. He was. He signs with the Lions. Three times pro, three-time pro bowler. Uh, also a tight end out of the University of Stanford or Stanford University. Either way, he's, uh, I don't know. he's a tree. He's a Stanford tree and uh, the Super Bowl champion. That's right. With the Philadelphia Eagles is now a lion. Picked him up for the NFC uh, championship. Tom Pelissero. Ertz has signed with the Lions and will start out on the practice squad with plans to uh, potentially ev- elevate him for the NFC Championship game. But I'll tell you what, man, it's a hell of a fucking grab off the streets. Um, yes, it is. They end up using him. No doubt. Some people believe this could be a move to prepare the uh, the Lions or yeah the Lions defense for playing against George Kittle in practice. Not a fucking chance. You signed Zach Ertz these, to these use are very Zacherts, different players. Okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that you just you're you're only signing Zach Ertz to get better as an offense. You yes. Know, you're not no going to sign Ertz to give a good look on scout team, even though he would be. You know, yeah, I'm sure he, he would will. do that if you if know, he was if, asked. But you're using his talents in the game. Him and Laporta, man. That's a that's a hell of a one two punch at the tight end at the tight end room for the Lions, man. No question. Especially dealing with uh with a Detroit Lions offense that's really good at running the ball right now. The matchup I'm looking forward to in the game is uh Penny Sewell versus Nick Bosa, though. Oh, right now. Fuck that's fucking Yeah. You buy the ticket for this matchup right here. Penny Sewell up up with there with Lane Johnson. They've been the two best uh at the right tackle position throughout the, the season. And uh, Nick Bosa is obviously a premier rusher. I wouldn't be surprised if he's moving all over the front to try and find mismatches, but he'll primarily probably be over on Sewell's side. I'm looking forward to this one a lot. The one that I was really looking forward to that already happened was the Larry Mitunzel versus Miles Garrett. That one was an f- awesome one to watch. Laramie was putting on a clinic. It'll be interesting to see how uh, how this one goes. Obviously, 49ers at home, Lions will probably be forced into a silent count, which typically allows a defender to get a little bit better jump on things. So it'll be interesting to see how it shakes out. I'm looking at that one, and I'm looking at the golf and purdy matchup, baby. Who's going to rise to the occasion, man? Ooh, who's going to who's going to will their team, baby? Both teams have amazing run games, but at the end of the day, man, you're going to you're going to have to use uh, you're going to have to use that passing game to attack both of these defenses, man, because it's a hard nosed group right here. What's a bigger underdog story is the real question. Lions making the Super Bowl or the last pick in the draft making the Super Bowl? Oh, man. I, as as highly crazy it is that the Lions are in the Super Bowl, Mr. Irrelevant being the starting quarterback for the Super Bowl team has got to be – I mean, that's crazy. That's a hell of a story. Awesome time that Bra- Brock Purdy, uh, an incredible start to his career that he's had. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting one. A lot of it's going to come down to who can run the football. Both of these offenses are so predicated off of that. Everything works off of the run and the misdirection and the play action. Um, And as an offensive lineman, you love watching football teams like this play. No question about it. Who can control that line of scrimmage, baby? Bracket first round results. That's right. The votes have been tallied and counted in the first round of the New Heights best team name bracket is officially in the books. You guys did your part. As we talked about last week, the submissions were uh, far more than we thought. And the votes were far more than we thought. Here are the results. Matchup one versus the Texans and Titans saw a Tennessee Titans victory. I think uh, that was pretty uh, foreseen. Most people, I think a big fan of the Tennessee Titans name. Then we went up 
Colts versus Jaguars. I'm not gonna lie. I thought the Colts would pull this one out. It was not even close. A lot yep. of people like the Jaguars name and a yeah. pretty uh, lopsided Jaguars. victory. Yeah, I think they just kind of sound See, alliteration. Than Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, yeah that's, that's nothing. Fair. Nothing about the Colts really gets anybody excited except for them actually playing football. That gets everybody <laughs> excited. Their jerseys, the name, it's all just kind of. <laughs> all right, but a dope stadium, great fan base, and a good football team. Next, we had the Buccaneers versus the Panthers. Another one that really wasn't close. Uh, Saints and Falcons. Saints won it in a big win. Probably the biggest lopsided victory. Well, I think so. Was uh, the Steelers over our hometown Browns? Obviously, the Brownies is a close one for us. But as we talked about, I mean, the Steelers just so good. that's such a good name for them. Man. Took over eighty percent of the votes. I mean, that's a woo matchup six. And this one was one that I think everybody thought could be close. Ravens versus the Bengals, and the Ravens prevailed. Yeah, 55% to 44%. We also got a tweet about the Bengals' name origin that might explain why they lost in the first round. Ashley, hold up. Who was going to tell us that the Bengals were named after an appliance? If they don't change their mascot to a stove, what are we even doing here? After the Bengals stove in his mother's kitchen. I didn't know that. No fucking way. I mean, it makes me like I it call more. BS. You're calling BS. I'm calling BS. You can't BS. trust everything you read on the internet. I you do cannot. know that. Yeah. Are we getting? Are we getting? Are we eating the onion right now? You're telling me they named a. I mean, I hope that they did because it's a cooler story than just picking like a Bengal cat. But no. Either way, no. Bengals are out. Another one that I thought would be close, and actually we're leaning towards the Chicago Bears just because how iconic. I, yeah. Those Bears names are, but right now there's a lot of hype around the Detroit Lions, and rightfully so. A lot so, of love for them Lions right now. Yes, they are still marching forward. Uh, it was a tight race, but the Lions came out on top, 52 percent to 47 percent. Next, we had the Vikings versus Packers. I really like the Packers name. I apparently I thought it was cheese packing this whole time, and I'm an idiot. It's meat packing that they're named after. I found that out. That's why we do this. Educational. Uh, but the Minnesota Vikings prevailed, 54 percent to 45 percent. Patriots versus Dolphins. It was tight. It was very tight. I did not think this would be a close one. Did I thought the Patriots would win it in a landslide. One. I thought the over Dolphins were going to find Dolphin. a way. Dolphins were winning this one early. I had to kind of needle, like, hey, yo, what's going on here? Which is doing? complete bullshit. I'm sorry, I know, but I can't help it. Like, are you? You're talking really about gonna, don't you got to don't skew it. You don't want to skew. You fuck. You were trying to skew them the entire time. Are we really going to vote? Like, you were fucking a you dolphin. Were, over a freaking patriot. This over has a minute nothing to do with you, Jason. Fought for this, this has country. Has nothing to do with you, Jason. It has everything to do with everyone else's opinions. I just think you need to wake some people up. No. Are you a big dolphin fan? Yeah. I think I think they're overrated animals. No. They talk about their intelligence. Jason, they're, they're, they're the only thing that saves you from a shark. In they're the not fucking saving ocean. anybody from a shark. All those stories it's are happened BS. before. No, it's all nonsense. It's no, all it's not. nonsense. Dolphins suck. They're they're sexual deviants. I, I think that we gotta get away from this dolphins, you know, oh, they're smart and they're 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 that we should be encouraging I'm out on dolphins. They're one of the best shows at SeaWorld. They have dolphins the at SeaWorld. Nicest animal. Yes. What? And they can't be that smart. Everybody's talking about the their f- intelligence and you got them at SeaWorld. Orcas are at fucking SeaWorld and they're just as smart. The smartest That's ones. That's saying. why you get them so they can do tricks That's and shit. That's why I'm questioning how smart they are. They're at SeaWorld. What? That's why? Yeah. If no. they're so smart, why are they at SeaWorld? Because they can do the tricks. Not You can't just get any fucking no, dummy but how off they the catch street them? to do the trip. How do they anybody catch anybody get caught? What do you mean? We got no. Yancey Gates with a poop dolly. You think motherfuckers <laughs> ain't just getting caught out here? Shout out to Yancey. I don't mean to keep bringing you up. I love you, Yancey. God, that was good. All right, touche. Touche. Anybody can get caught. I just, you know, I don't love the love for dolphins. I don't know why. I don't You're know what ridiculous. it is. I don't know if it's the way they talk or the look on their face. I don't like it. Jets versus Bills. Bills Mafia killed the Jets. I think Jets probably checked out right about the third play of the season. <laughs> Matchup 11, we had the Cowboys versus Commanders. This one shouldn't have even been close. It's not close as to which name is better. But the Eagles' hatred of the Cowboys showed through. I, this is another one that I had to – this is why I had to get involved. No, you Because did. otherwise, it would have just been a non – like, there's no it, way anybody can tell me that a Commander is better than a Cowboy as a, as a team name. You cannot say that. You can start to bring in the whole patriotic – thinking no, the, in this jason what are you talking about i'm uh, i listen i'm all about patriotism that's why i like the patriots commanders you don't like the commanders is, because they're here's not, the difference no it's washington not at all. 
Don't command me shit. This is America. Fuck your commands. I'm free. Patriots, we fought to be until you get drafted. away from the commanders until, of the until British. You get, drafted. get your fucking taxes out of here and your fucking tea. Actually, you can leave the tea, but we're going to throw it in the harbor. And we still got a fuck ton of taxes. We do, yeah. Well, now at least we get to keep it all for ourselves. What is, and we have representation. The only yeah. reason the commanders were in this race is because Eagles fans hate the Cowboys. And I get it. I do. I understand that hatred. This just goes back but to I my original point. But I couldn't allow that bias point. to, I had to, sure. I had to make that sure the bias? Cowboys fans knew. You that, had that to skew bias. that bias to your bias. I had to, and, no, you had to I skew that bias, bias to your bias. I don't have a bias. It is, you it clearly is, do. <laughs> what is my bias? What's my bias? What's my bias? That you don't like the commander's name. That's not a bias. That's a fact. That's an objectionable, <laughs> like nobody in their right <laughs> mind thinks that the Washington Commanders is as good as a name <laughs> as Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, nobody can possibly think that. Yee-hee. There is not a soul that actually thinks that that name is better. I, I, I don't believe that. So I could not allow the shenanigans to happen. You're ridiculous. Right. This was another lopsided one, 83% uh, over the Giants. Giants are good. The Giants is a good name. but It is a good name. When you look into the history of why it's the Giants, it just doesn't hold up. Then we had the Chiefs versus Chargers. This one uh, was a very, very lopsided. It was close for a little bit, though. I think some of the Chargers fans were voting maybe uh, 73% to 27%. Either that or Eagles fans. Oh, you know what? The Eagles too. fans do harbor some. I get it. I do. All righty. Matchup 14, Raiders versus Broncos. The biggest upset of the first round, in my opinion. Not that the Broncos I, is a bad name. I, I just really Broncos, think the Raiders is a good I, name. I really think the Broncos is a good name, man. I don't think the Broncos is a bad name, but the Raiders is so strong. It's, it's, it's the color scheme, everything about it. I get that it's lost a little bit of its luster since moving from Oakland to Las Vegas, but it was still one of my favorites, and it's out. It's out in round one, which has completely fucked my bracket, but that's all right. <laughs> Seahawks versus Rams. Seahawks won, I mean, not even in a close matchup, which I think is correct. And then uh, Cardinals was 49ers, which 49ers came out on top. Yeah. Those are all the first round matchups. Um, and before we get out of here, 92 percenters, we're going to talk about the second round of voting for the best NFL team name, which is now open. So please make your voice heard. So there's going to be some harder matchups in this round, Trev. All right, Ravens versus Steelers. A lot of people pointed out that the Ravens name, which I'm not a huge fan of, was inspired by uh, – the famous poet Edgar Allan Poe, which I already knew. And I don't know why that makes it more. Uh, I don't know that why that improves it. Um, great poem, but I don't know that I, I'm not a fan of team names being poe named after poet. fine arts. Yeah. It's not even the best poem out of Baltimore. Did you know the star spangled banner was written at the battle of Baltimore? Well, that's not a poem. It was It started off as a poem was made a song later, supposedly according to Wikipedia. Don't know how accurate that is, but listen, I love the Ravens color scheme. I like the theming. Everything around it is pretty spectacular. I might be a little bit biased because I hate the Ravens because of Art Modell and some uh, preceding bias from when I grew up. I don't know. I just, there's something about it that it's, it's an okay name. Not great. Don't hate it. Don't love it. I do like the color schemes. That's about it. I like the name. Love the color schemes. I just like Steelers better. Steelers is way better. Yeah. Art Rooney originally actually founded the team, uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates, but without uh, much success, um, wanted to rename the team and then decided to go with Steelers because of the old Rust Belt and the city's heritage with the Steel Mills as a large part of the fan base uh, was employed under, which well, makes sense. Choice, just makes Yeah. And us growing up with our father in the mills, uh, we appreciate that, I'm sure, a lot more than others. I think Baltimore would be better as like the Baltimore like crab legs or like Baltimore crabbers. I always thought it was crab cakes. But they're known for crab cakes, too. But I think it's just crab in general. Is it specific to crab cakes? I think so, dude. The Maryland crab cakes, Maryland crab legs. I thought it was like the it's Alaskan crab. Alaskan king crab is definitely one of them. Yeah. And then the well, Boston crab. All right. When I think of Baltimore, I think of fishing and crabbing. I think of Poe the Poet. Titans <laughs> Jags. Titans facts. The Titan name, uh, obviously, Greek mythology inspired the Nashville's moniker I didn't know as this. the Athens of the South. Oh, all right. Now Nashville has uh, this nickname because of its colleges and universities, classical architecture, and full scale of replica of Parthenon. Parthenon, yeah. Whatever. I didn't know any of this. And honestly, it's, it's made the name better to me. 
initially, I, I think a Titan is badass, but I didn't know how that tied into Tennessee at all. I thought it was just a random cool thing that they did, like some of these teams do. The fact that the city is kind of known for it, they have a replica of the Parthenon. There's a whole theme of it within the city. I can get on board with it. I still think it should be something like music related. I think you're right. It's Nashville, right? Like it needs to be like the Tennessee Troubadours would be better than the Titans, but Troubadours. I'm more on board with the Titans. I like the Titans name, man. Yeah. The color scheme is great too. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars are actually named after the Jacksonville Zoo. For those of you that don't know, they had the oldest living Jaguar in North America at the time. Had. Yes, had. Um, So, yeah. Or at least the oldest living that they knew of. Other options were stingrays and sharks. Man, sharks would have been so much better. Let's be honest. To the Jacksonville stingrays. It doesn't have the alliteration, though. Jacksonville sharks doesn't sound as good as Jacksonville jaguars. I just... What is it, Jackson? What, I, all right, whatever. All right. Matchup three, Lions versus Vikings. Lions facts. Owner George Richards... Uh, picked the name Lions because he intended to put together a team that would be the king of the NFL. Hey-o. Much like the lion was the king of the jungle. <laughs> I see what you did there, George. Wanted to tie it in um, with the baseball team, the Detroit Tigers. How about that? Yeah, I mean, they're both cats, I guess. Vikings facts, which I did not know this either. Vikings are named because Minnesota has a heavy Scandinavian background. Yeah. Reflecting the prominent Scandinavian American culture of Minnesota. So before I thought that the Vikings really wasn't that tied into the city, apparently I'm way off and uh, it, there's a huge tie in there. And it all makes sense, honestly, because when we went up there for the Super Bowl uh, 52, that was hosted it was by very Minnesota. Viking, Viking-esque. I, it was probably the whitest city I've ever been to. And I'm not talking about the snow. Like it was like so many, you had to go outside with sunglasses on because there's so many reflective whiteness everywhere between the everywhere. faces and the snow. It was the, the buildings and the, but anyways, the I love Vikings. I love Vikings. And the fact that it is tied into the city. And I know that now Vikings have gone up my freaking, I, I'm, I'm pro Viking pro Viking hard school. <laughs> Jesus. Buck saints. The Buccaneers name was chose, uh, Due to the pirate raids on Florida during the 1600s. That's okay. right. And Tampa Bay still honors it with Gasparilla, which pays homage to the uh, pirate invasions where a bunch of pirate shits come into the bay. Everybody dresses up like a pirate. I'm I'm big fan of the Buccaneers. I, I don't. It's a great name. I know they just beat our ass, which fucking sucks, but I like the Buccaneers name. It's a good name. It is a good name. Saints facts. Uh, on All Saints Day, November 1st, 1966, the franchise was awarded. Um, it is also an homage to the history of jazz in the area. With the popularity of the song, When the Saints Go Marching In, or oh, when, oh, when the Saints, the Saints Go Marching In, in that number. Oh, I think the Saints, Saints is just that much more powerful, means that much more to the city. The Buccaneers, they berated by pirates. Who wasn't? I don't know. Cleveland? That's a good point. <laughs> Bills at Patriots. Right. Bills facts uh, were originally named the Bisons, Buffalo yeah. Bison. The Bills referred to the Buffalo Bill Cody. A uh, notorious frontiersman didn't even know mm. it was a word. Name was picked from a from a fan contest. The old fan contest gets it done. Old fan contest. Patriots fact: the franchise chose the name to honor the birthplace of the American Revolution. God damn, doesn't Amen, that feel brother. good? Amen. When a cartoon of the Minutemen was drawn on a newspaper, it became the logo, and the name stuck. Yeah, I feel like the Bills is kind of still the Bison's. Which I didn't, there was a bunch of people that said that. Uh, Buffaloes aren't, that's not what the animal in North America is. Like the animal that was from North America was actually, they're all bisons. Buffalo is a completely, there's no such thing as like an American buffalo. It's like a different animal. And I'm like, guys, we all know what we're talking about. We're <laughs> yeah, talking about buffalo. Fire. We're talking about, don't. I don't need this like, shena- like, hey, mm-hmm. that's actually a bison and you shouldn't call it. That. I've been calling it buffalo for my whole life. I'm going to continue calling it buffalo. I'm grandfathered into buffalo and I'm not changing my name on buffalo. It's the fucking buffaloes. And uh, I'm a big fan of the Buffaloes, especially after just getting hammered with them with the Bills Mafia. <laughs> Gosh, the Patriots. I mean, it's hard. Yeah, we I don't know how that. this one's going to go. There was a lot of Patriot hate in the uh, last fan voting, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Bills take it. But, man, that's a great team name, in my opinion. All righty. Chiefs and Broncos. So patriotic. I was hoping this was going to be Chiefs Raiders, but it is Chiefs Broncos. Uh, Chiefs facts named for H. Rowe Bartle. The yeah. mayor of Kansas City in the early 1960s, who was nicknamed Chief. Chief. 
Mayor Bartle was instrumental in attracting Lamar Hunt's franchise, the Dallas Texans, to Kansas City. There you go. Broncos facts. Broncos was the nickname selected out of the statewide contest. Uh, the winner. Oh, the old fan vote. The old fan vote. That's almost all of these. Well, I mean, listen, that's what we're doing. When, when in doubt, do a fan vote. Yeah, I don't know. The winner of the contest wrote that the Broncos were tough and typified the West. They do. I mean, listen, the West is uh, personified, but man's well, relationship yeah. with his horse. And um, okay, boy, all right, now you gotta uh, talk to you him. Gotta, man. <laughs> talk to him. I do love the name Broncos, not as Dude, much as the Raiders. It's such a good name. It's a great name. A Bronco it, is such a great I name can for just a horse. See a fucking Bronco, just, a wild Bronco, just running around the state of Colorado, man. I can just see it. I don't know. Chiefs Kingdom, baby. Matchup seven, <laughs> Cowboys versus Eagles. Cowboys fact, the team was first known as the Dallas Steers. How about that? That sounds more like, like that. Steer, like that. Ah, dang, it's a little more. And then the Dallas Rangers. Oh, the baseball team. On March 19th, 1960, the organization announced that the team name would become the Cowboys to avoid confusion with the Dallas Rangers baseball team. Oh, there you go. Listen, I'm not going to lie. I think the Cowboys have a great team name. The fan base, Eagles, a lot of uh, animosity between the two. I think there's a lot of things that's wrong with the Cowboys. But, I mean, the Cowboys are pretty incredible figure in America's history and instrumental figure of the West uh, and that region. So I think the name's pretty dang good. Yeah, but it's not the bird of the United States. The Eagles name was inspired by the insignia of the centerpiece of President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal. The owner, about that? Bert Bell is said to have seen a billboard for the National Recovery Act with an image of a blue eagle on it. There you go. Not even a bald eagle? Fuck, God damn, that just, that just, I'm not going to lie, that just made that shit so much weak. No, it's a bald eagle. Not a bald eagle. It's a blue eagle. No, the it's eagle completely was different blue. Bird. It's not a di- completely the different The eagle was bird. the color blue, not a blue eagle. I thought it was named that because it was the founding city. I thought it was named It is. The it's the same thing with the, ni- with the 76ers. It's, it is. Don't let it's this not. thing. No, it let, is not don't a let blue. The owner is said to have seen a billboard. You're named after some recovery act. <laughs> don't you start this. Don't you start this nonsense. <laughs> it's a bald eagle, and we're named after it because this is where the country was founded. Because of the blue eagle he saw the on a billboard. Hall. This is ridiculous. No. It just we gave him the completely idea. Wrong. He's like, you, oh, yeah. You were, you were hoping that's what the matchup was going to be. That's what but, it is. No, it's not. Completely different. There's no such thing as a blue eagle, Travis. Do you know the what the National Recovery the Act eagle was? was? Huh? There is 1,000%. You want me to look up what a blue eagle I know is? what the New Deal was. And if the National Recovery Act was a part of the New Deal, that's like when with Social Security and uh, welfare program and a bunch of other things that Franklin Delano Roosevelt did to get us out of the, the Great Depression. Anyways, um, I don't – listen, it's an eagle because of the founding of the country. He just got the idea when he saw that on the New York. Name, you're named after a Chilean bird, not What's an that? American bird. The blue eagle. What is it? It's a Chilean bird. What's a Chilean bird? Chilean? A blue, a blue eagle. A, a ble- blue eagle? Blue, a blue eagle. I'm not buying this. Dude, this is nonsense. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at it right now. This is erroneous. Erroneous on all parts. Dude, it's like a Pokemon. God, this isn't. This isn't it. It's 1,000% it, dude. You guys are named after a billboard. You guys weren't even named after the bird of the... Listen, I can't... Listen, I'm... I'm... You're named after a mayor. And I own up to it. I don't fucking tell everybody that I'm named after the fucking United States pride. Okay? We are named after... It's it's still an eagle. Oh, now everything's an eagle? No, it's called an eagle. It's a blue eagle, but... It's it's a blue eagle. It's not a fucking bald eagle. Bald eagle's way more badass... (laughs) <laughs> let's get to this last one all right 49ers versus seahawks um 49ers are named after obviously the iconic california gold rush of 1849 which was uh obviously the inspiration of the team coincidentally oh, the know. team joined the nfl almost exactly 100 years after the gold ah, rush. that's a good that's a nice little fun fact all fun facts all fun facts the seahawks name was chosen out of over twenty thousand entries in the name the team contest in 1975 how about that chose it over the other birds the seagulls seahawks is way better than seagulls yeah way better and way more aggressive way better than a blue eagle especially because of its aggressiveness 
and relationship to the Northwest. Uh, the name was also chosen because the Seahawks was synonymous with the Osprey, Osprey. A predator hawk native to the area. Little known fact, it's actually cool. Uh, an eagle or like other birds of prey, when they catch like a fish out of the water, they hold the bird like across. You mean the right? fish? In its talons, they sh- they hold the fish uh, like across, right? Yeah. Ospreys, when they do it, they hold, you can always tell it's an osprey because they hold it in the same direction as like the bird is flying. So the fish looks uh-huh. like it's like almost like flying through the air with it. Found that out down at the Jersey Shore. It's a little fun fact for you, Nat Geo, Jason Geo. All righty. So may the best team name win, which is definitely not the Chiefs. May the best team name win. And that wraps up our weekend preview. All right. Now, follow us on all social media at New Heights Show with one S to make sure you get a chance to vote in all the second round matchups for our best NFL team name bracket. And make sure you subscribe to New Heights channel on YouTube so you know when the next full show and bonus video drop. Jason, thank you for encouraging my reading. And thank you to all the 92 percenters for tuning in and listening to me trying to read. I love you guys. And sorry. Love you guys. See ya. For putting you through that. Go birds. Go, go bald eagles. Go blue eagles and go chiefs. 